Hello guys, welcome again to 101nursing.com. Today we'll be talking about acute glomerular nephritis in the pediatric world. So, glomerulus are actually the little um, tubules according to, are located in your kidneys and they actually filter, glomerulus filter, filter out your urine within your um, kidneys. So there's a little tiny little filtration within your kidneys. And if these get inflamed or infected, it's called glomerulonephritis. And it affects the kidneys. It usually occurs post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. It's common in children and it's common in children mostly after a strep infection. So it's believed that a child has strep infection. The immune system plays a major role in that and um, it becomes opportunistic. Um, and the antigen lodges within the glomerulus causing infiltration, sodium water, infiltration, sodium water retention, and edema and inflammation. The assessment is you'll see increased urine output but fluid overload, crackles within the lungs and a bounding pulse. How are you going to find this test? Through your labs. So you're going to have elevated VON and creatinine and you're going to have your ESR, um, your sedimentation rate, um, urethrocyte sedimentation rate, is going to be elevated, indicating an increase in inflammation in the body. Um, ASO titer is going to show that um, you have nephritis, inflammation of the kidneys. The renal sound, the uh, renal ultrasound, is going to, you're going to see is inflammation. Urine exam, you're going to might find blood in the urine. And um, you have to definitely watch for hypertension. Acute hypertension. Um, it's just going to happen out of really just acute hypertension. And what we're going to have is um, anti-seizure medication, anti-hypertensive, diuretic. You're going to have your loop diuretic. Um, you're definitely going to be monitoring these pediatrics. Thank you very much.